So we just came out of that cave. We need to make our way down so, like the glacier. I say glacier, kind of like this big giant snowy field area. And we're looking for an icicle inn. That's going to be the next area of interest here. Let's see what we got. Okay, the snow wolves are back in this area. Also, I think they have like, um, oh, what are they called? Like the little snow bunnies. They're, they're called something weird in this game. <laughs> should be should be around here somewhere I don't remember having to travel this far I think okay it's probably gonna be right like around to the right on top of the uh, the peak of the mountain there If you notice, I did grind a little bit off camera, but I didn't fight in the snowy field. I know like the enemies here really aren't worth all that much AP and XP. I did my grinding in like the little cave that we just exited out of. There we go. There it is. Things are going to get pretty interesting here. Let's see, we can try to read the sign. I don't think we're going to get any information from it. Let's go ahead and check out all the little houses. Maybe find an upgrade somewhere. <laughs> she slaps him on the knee. Mm, oh my goodness. There we go. We got something to spend our money on finally. Huge upgrades too. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, let's just buy one for everybody. Yuffie is going to be benefiting. Oh, no, maybe Kate Sith is. See, yeah, he's been rocking the... The uh, Dragoon Lan La 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 Lancer that I got from um, the Wu Tei Cave. The Lariat, that sounds pretty awesome. I've got, we're pretty good on tents, but this next area is pretty long. We're gonna be coming up on like this big, um, sort of, well, snowy expanse. We're already kind of there, but you'll see what I mean. First thing is first, first order of business. Let's go ahead and equip everybody with the new found upgrades yes short barrel right now i'm gonna be working on leveling everybody like my spare party members i say spare like ones aside from cloud uh nothing and then we got the red okay um what i'm doing like i'm getting them to level 65 and then swapping them out since i can't swap out cloud for the time being and i'm just going to be doing them leveling them up in increments of five levels from now on so we're already pretty high. I mean, all my materia is mastered, except for the stuff I have equipped. I could have sworn there's something we get we do in here. I know there's a way we get down there eventually. Just not right now at the moment. Um. Okay, talking to that dude, or going back there is the way to trigger the thing that, that needs to happen, but I think we still need to do some exploring here. My boy got hurt right about the time we moved here. Oh, the snowboard. Oh, that's right! The snowboarding thing. And there's a little kitty cat. Um, hey, little dude, can you let me borrow or have that snowboard? That thing looks pretty awesome, too. But if you guys know me, been watching me long enough, you know I don't do snow. I don't do cold weather. I live in Arizona. Um, I have no desire to have my bones frozen. Oh, look, there's a map of the area. There's some things back here, too. A hero drink. Don't mind me as I pilfer all your items. I mean, you, you don't have them locked away. I'm going to take the map. We're just going to... Okay. <laughs> no, nobody, like, opposes me and say, hey, that's my map. Okay, her, her husband got lost on the cliffs. Um, she tells me more about the Great Glacier. There's a dude out here. Who's this guy? Better take that map on the wall. Um, you already, <laughs> yeah, I already did. He got okay, so he did get mad. Uh, 
Let me out, come on. Okay, we could talk to these girls. I'm gonna make a bigger one. Um, you know, it's kind of weird. We go from like a, a like, not instantly, but Wu Tei is like this peaceful sort of resort town on the beach, you know, and then we've seen the, what do you call it? Um, God, what was that place called on the, on the beach? Costa del Sol, there you go. Uh, no, I don't want to spend the night, no thank you. Um, and then we go like, we're going to all these like touristy hotspots and then this one's kind of like, you know, a snowboarding haven. <laughs> never, it's never dawned on me games like that. There's a prison, there's a golden saucer, it's kind of like Vegas, you know, like it's, um, it's a steep downgrade past here, I think, it's dangerous, please don't go, okay, now we take, tell him I'm still going. There they are, hurry, after them! Do not let them escape, she's still after us too, what about her, like, um, the, what, what, what are their names? Sang and, and Rude and Turk, whatever the hell their names are. <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember. What's down there? Boss saying that wasn't, uh, yeah, that was, it was Sephiroth. No, don't think you can fool me, liar. The cloud's like, uh uh. <laughs> I'm not lying, it was Sephiroth. Don't try to act innocent. I'll never forget it. Oh, man. Looks like the talking alone won't cut it. You're going to have to feel some pain. Dodge the punch. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, so they work for Shinra. We can't go anywhere yet because we still need a snowboard. Where's that kid at? I think that kid was in here. I've got a map. Maybe now he'll, he'll let me have it. Give me the snowboard. Give me the freaking snowboard, dude. Oh, now he wants to move. I got hurt on my snowboard and now I can't go out for a while. Hey, I'll give you my, I'll give you my snowboard. There we go. Now the kitty moves. There we go. Hell yes. All right, now we're golden. We're good to go. We got a map. We're going to need a map, and you'll see why this next area is going to be really crazy. Be careful. Yep. Thank, thanks for the warning, dude. Not this area. This is the fun area. But the grindy area. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> I think I can jump. Yes. Not very high. There we go. It's because my speed's not high enough. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. Ooh, okay. My bad. I was I thought that was like something I could get. <laughs> it was highly pixelated. I didn't know what it was. This is a balloon. I know that. How do I like how do I turn this thing properly? It does not have good good handling. <laughs> what the hell? How do I where's my brake button? I, I need to figure that out. There okay, it's square. Now there's gotta be like a a better turning button. I think it's L1 and R1. I don't know. Square. Yeah, slowing down kind of sucks because you got to be in a straight line, sort of. I'm passing up all the balloons. I don't know. There's a couple of different ways you can go. Oh, and the only thing that that matters, or the, well, the, that the direction determines is basically the area you land in. There's two choices. You can go left and right, and then again left and right. So there's four different... Oh my god, Cloud, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> there's four different areas that you can land in. Oh, This guy, this is freaking hard to control. Like, the turning on this is insane. There we go. Now it's picking up. Oof. Wow, my god, we're catching some massive air. Left, 
right, left, right, left, right. Oh, we're going this way. Probably should be going for this. Oh, <laughs> the green ones. <laughs> Oh, look at Cloud. He's getting all fancy. He's doing backflips now. All right. Watch the trees. Watch the trees. Watch the trees. <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll watch, watch myself run right into it. Okay. okay. Uh. The rendering distance. Oh, my God. This game is freaking impossible. Let's get this over with. This is a horrible experience for me. I didn't even push that way. He's got like a mind of his own. There we go. Okay. Well, if you press forward, he kind of, he kind of sort of leans one way or the other. That's, that's what's going on. Sorta. Of. I have no idea which way I'm going. I'm just gonna land. We gotta explore. We don't. I don't have to explore everything because some of the areas don't have anything to do in them, but there are some chests to be had, some interactable things, and it is a uh, area where you can... Oh, come on now. It's an area where you can get into random encounters, so you kind of want to be prepared. Oh, what the hell, dude? Get out of the way. Ah, there's not much I can do! Oh, man, there's like 50 million of them. Oh, that's crap. Oh, that's fine. Well, oh, I, was, I was hoping to make that like a super awesome jump, but I don't think we we're going fast enough. So I went right and right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I? I thought I could like run up those. Okay, that was my fault for thinking that. This is like the longest snow ride ever. Oh, what the hell? How was I supposed to dodge that? You know what? I'm just going to start jumping over, trying to jump over stuff. <laughs> Pray for the best. I mean, seriously, what kind of snowboard? How, look at look at the speed. We're going kilometers per hour. 70. That's about, well, 35 miles an hour, give or take. Yeah, that's. I guess that's about pretty accurate. Guarantee you a fall at that speed would... Would freaking hurt. Break some bones. Or okay, cloud. I need to figure out where I'm at. It should give us an option to look at the map here. I guess we're still in one piece. Everyone all right? A little off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Where did we land? Looks like we jumped pretty far. Um, right. I, I know. Oh, that's right, there's the potential of freezing. You can't stay out here very long. Okay, hold on, give me a minute to get acclimated to figure out where I'm at. It doesn't give you a marker, it just gives you landmarks, so you have to kind of look around at what's around you. We've got like a little, maybe a cave there? I don't know what that is. We can always go back. I think this might have been an area we needed to get to. Um... about to find out. It's either that or just a passing through area. Oh, yeah, I have no idea where I'm at. I can't look at my map, so... Looks like trouble. Um... Can I not do anything? Can I... Oh, okay. I have no idea what that just did. That shot me out. I think this is where we were supposed to go. I just got super lucky, but we need to go back and grab some stuff. But I am going to save it here real quick. Okay, we did not get lucky. This actually puts us back to the, be 
beginning. Um, there's Icicle, the Icicle Inn. Here's the big giant kind of sort of snowboarding area we went down. We need to get through the glacier. So, I'm gonna go back in here. Um, was gonna look at the map. Let's see what we got here. Any new enemies? Everything we can face roll. Oh my goodness, look at Cloud's sword. It looks freaking awesome. Vincent's rocking a badass shotgun. This is. Alright, things are looking up now. <laughs> How much money? I had over 800,000 just over, so all that stuff that I bought costed me about 70,000 gold. Or gil. Okay, what we're going to be looking for on the map is that little center part like with the um and it looks like kind of a lake it's going to be a glacier sort of that little cave that's where we're going for first and the mountain here we're at the very beginning in the bottom let me go back to the map here to finish explaining um i didn't plan on we're in the bottom the very bottom right that cave the um near the northern the little landmarky the compass thingy god i'm a horrible explainer <laughs> um we're in the bottom right. We're in that little small cave right there. I'm trying to point at it on my monitor. All we got to do is go straight. Should be going straight twice for um, for the cave that we're looking for. Like I said, I'm not going to be exploring this area fully. I'm just going to be grabbing the things that we need to get here. And the areas I'm going to be passing up, there's nothing to do there. So you don't worry about missing anything. Uh, we need to go straight twice, right? What is this little green thing here? It's a mine source. I don't remember... I don't remember that being there. I think there might not be a whole lot of different enemies in here. It might be these dudes, and then maybe one set of others. Maybe a third. Stuff keeps leveling up. Hell yeah. There's stuck like something green there too still. How do I get that? What is that? I can't Can I go around. Alright, this area is being an asshole. It's not letting me like go up there. And I'm freaking lost. So it might take me a bit to navigate here. What in the hell are these things? They're part fish, part... I don't know, part... part raptor? <laughs> part alien? Alien raptor? Alien raptor fish? <laughs> like a Dark Souls enemy. Oh, Bahamut just leveled up. Yeah. I don't think, you know what, to be honest with you, leveling up the materia makes them powerful, more powerful. I think it has to do with your level and your magic stat. Okay, there's a lone tree here. I think I went the wrong way. I did. See, there's a okay, I need to I need to head back. Oh, well, that's why. I went the wrong freaking way. All I had to do was go the opposite way instead of up. And I was trying to work out. I can't tell you. There's a potion. Um, how many? How long I was trying to cross that. <laughs> or go up there. Probably like 10-15 minutes. <laughs> now this is where we're trying to go. This is one of the three spots that we want to go in here. There's a little puzzle. You can only step on each one of these little thingies once, and the small ones you can't jump on, but they'll change like you'll see. Watch. Yep, that's the way it goes, right? I know what I'm doing. Now you gotta plan it out. Bonk, and then this one's gonna change. Oh, we're gonna have to go back. I think I just went the wrong way. I should make that one pop up. Okay. Doing okay so far. Have I jumped on that one yet? I... Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Let's try this. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, it starts me all over again? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll try this one more time. That's the way it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try going the opposite way. Oh, come on, man. All right. Ha, got it. That's what you get. <laughs> Little tricky thing. Okay. The thing we need is inside the cave. Look at us. Uh, what is going on? I did not press back, Cloud. Come on, you gotta work with me, buddy. After all that work we just did. There we go. He would not go that way. I don't know what was going on here. Um... I guess that's just all we need. And I think this is like one of these, like an accessory. Protects against sudden death, petrify, slow, and numb. Those are the good ones to prevent. Um, speaking of which, what the hell happened? That's right, because we can't be out there too long and we pass out. Collapsed from exhaustion. Okay, um, I'm planning on heading north. He wants he wants us to listen to his story. Damn it. Okay. You got anything back here, dude? Hold on. Nope. Wow. Is that just like a wide open window? Don't you think it'd be, get a bit drafty in here? <laughs> I'd be freezing my little nuggets off, man. Have you ever heard about those who challenged the cliff? I've heard about them, yes, but... I don't know... Yeah, I don't know much... I don't know the story behind it. So him and his buddy tried to climb it 30 years ago. They froze their balls off. He cut his own rope and didn't notice. Wow, that sucks. two precautions you'll need to take. Check your route. Um, to raise body temperature. Mash square. Okay. I can do that. No, I, <laughs> please don't go through that again. I already know. We could save it. I'm not actually ready to move on though. We still, there's a, a materia. There's a summon materia we can get. It's Alexander. We need to go back. What we need to do is touch the hot spring and then go talk, or go talk and fight to this, fight this old, like, lady. This old lady of the lake. Alright, moving on. We need to get to the hot springs. And everybody's here. I wasn't, like, expecting a reunion. You know, I've been thinking. Ah, uh, I don't want to be an asshole to Barrett. Barrett's cool. <laughs> Look at him do his little cold dance. Seeing a place like this makes you realize how awesome nature is, but if ever, anyone ever told me to live here, i tell them to, you know, kiss my balls. Um, <laughs> i tell you one thing, though. If I had to live here, I'd change things around and make it better. How? Put a giant heater up on the mountain? Build, like, a giant bonfire? Okay, we need to go back, because we're not done yet. We got some traveling to do. We're gonna have to go back through all that. Okay, so we're here now. We're at the very north part of the map where that giant check mark is. Um, that cave we were just at, that we had to do that little jumpy puzzle, was the very center. The hot springs we're looking for uh, is up like on the road there, like north of that little tree, like in the center of the cave. So we, according to the map, we need to go south. Kind of, sort of, south. We need to touch the hot springs first. Have to go through all this. If you notice, that's a giant face right there. I think that's on the map, too. Maybe? Maybe not? Yeah, it is. So it's pointing us kind of right there. Um, ooh, I don't know if it's... Op if it's is it an option? 
Since there's two different ways to go, I think we need to go to the southern area. This is a new dude here. Oh. Hey, what the hell? Why am I missing? So you throw your shield at me and you get it back. And I can't, like, physically damage you. Alright, you're starting to get on my nerves, dude. I'm gonna comment your ass, see what you say about that. There we go. Fifty AP, not bad, not bad at all. Once you navigate your way to the hot springs, holy crap! I hope this is gonna like restore my um, like my temperature, uh, reset like the timer on it. Okay, I just went the wrong way. I'm trying to like touch the actual spring. You need to do that to activate the lady, like to make her want to fight you. There we go. Not frozen. Touch it. Hot spring. Okay, it won't let me touch it again, so that should be good. Now, we look back at the map here. We need to go to the glacier up in the top right corner, and it's only accessible from the area with the check marks, so that means we just need to head back a little bit north. Telling you, man, this place was so such a pain in the butt to find. Oh man! Oh. We talked to her, him, it. You got a lot of nerve trying to touch me with the same dirty hands that touched my filthy hot spring. About time. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. All right, so what I'm gonna do is light you up, lady. Let's hit her with Bahamut. It's sort of fiery, I guess. Not really, but... That might even end the battle. Who knows? I think it's just a normal mob just playing, like, um, boss music, though. <laughs> oh, a little bit of an overkill. Finally, oh man, a lot of work for this bad boy, Alexander. Now, we're going to make our way back to that hut. We can just sit out here until we pass out. However, I do want to show off the summon because it's freaking awesome. Take another big loss on HP, another 5% down. That's fine though, we can deal with it. Now we just got to roam around until... Get a random encounter. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of just heading back towards the um, the old man's inn now. Can't believe we're getting all this way without a random encounter. But finally. <laughs> Alright, the uh, alien raptor fish are going to get Alexander here. I think this dude's holy as well. No, don't be a countering attack everybody, Barrett, hold on! Oh um, okay, I was going to say. Here it goes, Alexander.
I don't know, that's freaking awesome to be like a giant robot. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the inn. Ooh, man, that was a long journey. Alright, let's get our nice little happy blonde ass in here, warm up by the fire. We're gonna rest up, we're gonna save it, we're gonna leave this one up here, and that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys.